वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई डॉक्टर संघम मित्र दास इन दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर ऑफ ह्यूमन वैल्यूज एंड प्रोफेशनल एथिक्स वील बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हारमोनी इन द फैमिली एंड विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द वैल्यूज इन ए ह्यूमन रिलेशनशिप सो इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर्स एज यू हैव ऑलरेडी टॉक्ट अबाउट हारमोनी इन ह्यूमन बींग थ्रू द प्रोसेस ऑफ सेल्फ एक्सप्लोरेशन वी ऑल्सो हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट understanding the human being human being as the coexistence of the self and the body so the self is the domain of consciousness and the body is the domain of material then you have also discussed about the difference between needs and activities of the two entities and how the self is the seer the doer and the enjoyer while the body is just used as an instrument in this process then you also talked about the activities of the self and how it is used to ensure harmony among all the activities of the self and this leads to a state of harmony in the self and paves the way for ensuring continuity of happiness in the self then you also talked about how the self is responsible towards the body so the program for continuous happiness is to ensure right understanding that is understanding of the harmony in human being family society and nature and to live in harmony at all the levels so family as is the basic unit of human interaction every human being is actually is born in a family and is a part of the family in which you have our parents our grandparents children youth uncle aunt cousin there are so many relatives and friends so it is a family where we are actually nurtured and we develop from childhood care we are taken care of in the sickness and in old age so it is where we start learning to interact with other human beings to share and to care so it is the place where we start becoming aware of relationships so the moment actually we hear the word mother there is a whole lot of feeling similarly every relationship name has an associated feeling which becomes more and more enriched as we interact with this particular people so our basic i uh, can say uh, grooming our basic formative years are spent in the family you now for our basic grooming for living in relationship starts also in the family so the first few years we we to call formative years are spent in the family it is where we pick up a very actually significant part of our sanskar and uh, when you're living in the family with the elders with the siblings with the neighbors and with the friends so it is also providing us uh, the platform to verify our understanding so you can say that family is the basic unit or building block of human organization it is a practice ground for living in relationship and in harmony now if you try to understand relationship so these are the four aspects of understanding a relationship there exists a relationship between one self that is i1 and the another self that is i2 so there are feelings in a relationship in one self and the other self and these feelings can be recognized that means they are definite and fulfillment of these feelings in the right evaluation leads to mutual happiness so we start with the first one that is relationship is between one self and the other self so the first is that relationship is actually there it is already there we are just in fact embedded in relationship we are already related to each other so whether we recognize it or not we do not have to construct or create any relationship all we need to do is to understand the relationship so we are a part of a family with the parents with the grandparents with the brothers with the sisters so we have neighbors we have relatives we have friends we are connected to the people who are producing processing packaging marketing delivering repairing all the things that are used using so we are actually dependent on the people who provide services to us so there are a lot of people who depend on us for the goods and services that we produce or we provide so it is interesting actually to find out that how many people actually are involved even in the very smallest thing that is being done like a glass of milk so if the milkman who is actually delivering the milk that we may have been that we're having in the morning so he the milkman is delivering the bottle of milk the people involved in making the glass bottle the people in the dairy the farmers growing the harvesting and making the fodder available and so on so you can see that it is pretty long list so like that we are all really embedded in a relationship with other human beings then second observation is that relationship is between one self and the other self so of course the relationship is existing between one human being and the other human being so how we are understanding the human being you can very easily say that it is the self which is recognizing the relationship and not the body so it is the self which is the feelings in relationship 
and not the body. Also, these feelings are recognized by the other self and not the body. In that sense, you can say that relationship is existing between oneself and the other self. Actually, the self which is able to see or understand the relationship, accept the relationship and fulfill the relationship. So, the body is just an instrument in the process of fulfilling the relationship by both human beings. So, we can say that we all want to fulfill relationships. We are not able to do it until we understand the human being. As long as we consider the human being as just a body, it is not possible to understand the relationship. And without understanding relationship, it is not possible to fulfill relationship. So the clarity that human being is coexistence of self and body is very necessary to understand relationship and then fulfilling it. Then there is feelings in relationship that is in oneself. For the other self. So the important issue in human relationship is that of the feelings. We can see that the feelings are in the self, not in the body. So it is the self which has the feelings and which recognizes these feelings. To understand relationships, one has to understand the self and the feelings in the self. So feelings like respect and affection are more important rather than merely the exchange of physical facilities. So for example, if you are happy with your mother's cooking, even if it is very simple, because of the feelings in that relationship. You may complain about very simple hotel or your hostel mess food if you haven't realized the feelings in the relationship with the mess person. So the major crisis we are facing nowadays in relationship is because of the failure to understand the self. We are trying to assume that the relationship is on the basis of body, trying to fulfill the relationship on the basis of body and this does not actually work. So if we don't understand the self, we don't understand the feelings and therefore you are not able to ensure the fulfillment of, fulfillment of the feelings in a relationship. And we end up trying to ensure the fulfillment of relationship through physical facilities. So the feelings are central to human relationship. No amount of physical facility can actually ensure the fulfillment of these feelings. And so what is happening that no amount of physical facility alone can ensure the fulfillment of this relationship. So, it is very much necessary to understand that the self has feelings in a relationship. These feelings can be recognized. They are definite. So, the third important issue is that these feelings can be recognized as they are definite. There are nine feelings in a relationship. These are the feelings which can understand, which we can ensure within ourselves, which we can share with others and thus ensure mutual fulfillment in relationship. So, these are the feelings which are naturally acceptable to us in the relationship with other human beings. So, feelings or values in a relationship are the following. Trust, that is the foundation value. Then you have respect, you have affection, you have care, you have guidance, you have reverence, glory, gratitude and love. That is the complete value. So, first of all, let us actually think about or let us investigate if these feelings are naturally acceptable to us or not. For example, we can say, we can ask ourselves, what is actually naturally acceptable to us? A feeling of trust or mistrust? Feeling of respect or disrespect? Feeling of affection or jealousy? Feeling of care or exploitation? Feeling of guidance or misguidance? Feeling of reverence or irreverence? Feeling of glory or inglorious feelings? Feeling of gratitude or ingratitude? Feeling of love or hatred? So it is very quite obvious which feelings actually are naturally acceptable to us. So thus we can explore if these feelings are naturally acceptable just to us or they are naturally acceptable to others also and ultimately to everyone. So we can see that these feelings are actually naturally acceptable to us. Therefore having these feelings in ourselves lead to our happiness. When you have a feeling of respect within us, we feel comfortable within when we are in harmony within because this feeling of respect is naturally acceptable to us. So when we are in harmony within, we are in a state of happiness. On the other hand, you can see that if you have a feeling of disrespect for the other, you are uncomfortable within because you are in contradiction within. So the feeling of disrespect is not naturally acceptable to you. Just by having this feeling of disrespect, it leads to contradiction within yourself and therefore leads to a state of unhappiness within. So this is the case even if you have not shared it with the others, even if you have not expressed it to the others, this disharmony within is making you uncomfortable and therefore it is making you unhappy. So are you able to see that? Also you can find out if the complaints regarding the lack of fulfillment in relationship have to do with the absence of these feelings. Then fulfillment of the feelings in relationship and the evolution actually leads to mutual happiness. So 
once we recognize the values essential for any relationship we start working and behaving according to these feelings we begin uh, to evaluate ours and others feelings in the relationship thus living with these values leads to mutual fulfillment and happiness in all our relationships so if i have a feeling of respect it leads to harmony within myself therefore happiness within this feeling of respect within myself leads to my happiness and when i share the feeling of respect with you it leads to your happiness thus leading to mutual happiness this can be verified for other fields also like trust affection care etc so harmony in the family has to do with relationship and relationship has to do with these four aspects only actually when we are able to understand these four aspects we understand the relationship we are able to accept relationship and we are able to ensure the feelings in a relationship leading to mutual fulfillment in relationship so having right understanding or clarity about the relationship is the basis of fulfillment in a relationship so if we talk that what is the current status or what is the state today so what is happening that we are recognizing relationship with others based only on the body so the problem today is that we assume ourselves to be the body and we try to see the relationship on the basis of body only we therefore fail to understand the relationship and consequently we fail to fulfill this relationship despite all our good intentions that is why we have so much of complaint regarding relationships we keep thinking and talking about the lack of fulfillment in relationship but we hardly know what to do about it so most of the time finding lack of fulfillment of relationship we try to fulfill it through physical facility but this does not work so we have explored that the unhappiness in our family is more due to lack of fulfillment in the relationship or more due to lack of physical facility and you can observe that much of our unhappiness has to do with the lack of fulfillment in relationship while we may be spending major part of our time and and our efforts for gathering or accumulating more and more physical facilities so the problem in a relationship nowadays is that due to the absence of one or more of the right feelings and we try to make up this gap by physical facility or by trying to demand these feelings um, from others rather than ensuring these feelings in ourselves and sharing it with others so the majority of complaints in relationship have to do with the lack of fulfillment of naturally acceptable feelings since we do not understand the self we do not understand the feelings we do not have these feelings in ourselves i not able to express them in to the other that is and it leads to lack of fulfillment in relationship in fact actually you are not even able to appreciate the problem is because of lack of fulfillment of feelings instead actually trying to compensate with physical facility we go uh, we attempt to fulfill this gap actually with in feelings with physical facility so we go for elaborate dinners give exclusive gifts go to exotic holiday destinations we celebrate associations like birthday parties wedding anniversaries and there are various other occasions do such actually activities are actually filling the gap no they are not filling the gap but if the feelings are lacking so can physical facility substitute of feeling of relationship no it is not possible so that is the current status that we have thought that only Uh, we're not understanding that human being is actually a combination of self and the body we have actually treated the human being as only an body and we are trying to fulfill its need or through all the physical facilities that are available to us so evaluate all our relationships in terms of material things like money property etc in short you can say that the purpose of relationship has been reduced to physical facility and material needs and its exchange hence we feel that working for physical facilities alone is enough or we assume that as long as we are accumulating more and more physical facilities and providing the same to the others the relationship is automatically fulfilled now the, what is happening is that the people are not able to express the feeling of respect to the other so because they do not have it actually this is because they do not understand the feeling rather we are trying to get it from the others we want to get the feeling from the other you yourself do not have that feeling so you do not have it because you do not understand the relationship the feelings in relationship same is the problem with other person also he or she is also not understood the relationship and the feelings in the relationship so he does not have the feelings of respect and hence he is not able to express it to you so ultimately the situation is that most people are begging for respect and almost everyone's bowl is empty so they are begging for respect and not getting it from the other because the other's bowl is also empty so you can see that we are stuck with the problem of lack of fulfillment of relationship because of three things 
first is that we are not able to ensure the fulfillment of feelings which are naturally acceptable to us in the relationship and we try to compensate for it with the help of physical facilities which actually does not work secondly we are not able to ensure feelings in ourselves because we have not understood the self thirdly we are not able to understand that the relationship is between oneself and the other self so the major issue in relationship is that of the feelings and not a physical facility so the larger issues you can on larger uh, scale you can say the domination is there of exploitation is there adultery is there divorce is there breakdown of the family is there you can also see as them as symptoms of lack of understanding of relationship and lack of feelings in the relationship so these feelings point to the needs of understand the human being to know the self to understand the relationship to ensure the right feelings in a relationship to share these feelings in a relationship with the other and to evaluate them ensuring mutual happiness so what is the way ahead so you can say so uh, we can say that so what is the way ahead so the most you have to understand the most fundamental thing is to understand these feelings if we understand these feelings we have we will have these feelings in us if we want to ensure fulfillment of a relationship so it is essential to understand the feelings when you understand them we have the right that is the natural naturally acceptable feelings in us so when we have these feelings in us we are actually comfortable within us these feelings are naturally acceptable to us so we are actually in a state of harmony that is we are having happiness within ourselves and the moment you understand the feelings in a relationship we have these feelings in ourselves leading to a state of harmony that is happiness within us so this is definite secondly we share these feelings with others that is very natural if we have a feeling of respect of for you we express the feeling of respect to you similarly the feeling of affection is there the feeling of care is there the feeling of guidance is there it will also get expressed thirdly since these feelings are also naturally acceptable to us it will lead to mutual happiness for you ultimately it will lead to mutual happiness uh, so the program for ensuring fulfillment of relationship is as follows that you have to understand and accept the relationship identify the feelings in a relationship to understand these feelings and ensure that these feelings are there in us in fact the moment we understand the feelings we have the feeling in us so we don't have to do anything else to create these feelings except to understand them secondly we have to share these feelings with the others because this is naturally accepted to the other also so it will lead to happiness in the others also thus it will lead to mutual happiness and that is how the fulfillment in relationship will take place thirdly in this way only with understanding and acceptance of relationship understanding the feelings in relationship and having the feelings expressing these feelings and right evaluation of feelings leads to mutual happiness so you can say that if you are able to understand these relationships you are able to identify the relationships and you are able to fulfill those relationship mutually it will be leading you to happiness now various points regarding a relationship uh, we can just say that family is the basic unit of human organization for living in relationship and in harmony to live with fulfillment in relationship it is essential to understand the relationship assuming the relationship is an understanding will not work out so relationship is it is already there in human human relationship it exists between one self and the other self we are embedded in relationships whether you recognize it or not so when you recognize the relationship we think in terms of accepting it and fulfilling it when you don't understand the relationship the relationship is still there but we are not able to see it so you're not able to accept it and therefore you don't think it in terms of ensuring the fulfillment in the relationship so the unhappiness in the family is more due to lack of fulfillment in the relationship but also due to lack of physical facility the major issue is that of the fulfillment of feelings in relationship and with that the minor issue is lack of physical facility by itself the physical facility cannot compensate for lack of feelings so the base of relationship is feelings in one self for the other self feelings are in the self and not in the body feelings are fundamental to fulfillment in relationship so these feelings are definite so they can be understood so there are nine naturally acceptable feelings in relationship from trust that is the foundation value to love that is the complete value when you ensure these naturally acceptable feelings in ourselves we share them with the other and when you are both able to evaluate the feelings rightly it leads us to 
mutual happiness so for this chapter i will stop it over here um, but before stop it stopping i'll just uh, talk about the values that are existing in a relationship so these are the nine values that exist in a relationship that is trust vishwas respect samman affection sneh care mamta guidance vatsalya reverence shraddha glory gaurav gratitude kritagyata love is the complete value that is spring so these are the nine values in a relationship and in the next session we'll be talking about these values in a relationship okay students thank you for now we'll meet in the next class okay students thank you